Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today I will be showing you how to make my mermaid tail here. Sorry about the noise in the background, there will be some noise, my stepdad is sleeping and he's watching the news. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to make this mermaid tail. The materials you're going to need are some stretchy elastics and some pants that don't fit you anymore and some scissors. And, of course, an LPS. I'm not going to be using this LPS that I have here because it already has a tail on it. But make sure you have an LPS that you... Because it's really hard to get it off. So make sure you're putting it on the LPS you're making it for. So, yeah. You don't really need to do any tracing. You just need cutting and elastics and pants. So let's get right into the video. And, yeah, let's get right into the video. As I said, I'm sorry for the background music, but this is the LPS I chose to use, so yeah. Let's get right into the video. So you're going to need some pants that don't fit you anymore. These are broken elastics. Scissors. Some elastics that actually work. And me. <laughs> so... Get your pants. You don't need to do any tracing. Just, oops, sorry guys. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, let's get right into the videos. So, yeah. What you're going to need to do is get scissors. You're going to get your pants. And you're going to cut a strip. So, one sec. Let me do that. Just cut a strip out. Like I said, sorry for the background. And the TV is on, and I'm not, I don't think I should turn it off because my stepdad is wanting to watch this, but I'm pretty sure he's snapping. So, whatever. Cut it out as big as you... Sorry, guys. Cut it as big as you want it to be. It doesn't have to be the perfect size, but you can make it however size you want it to be. I'm not the... Sorry. I'm not the best at cutting stuff, so I won't be a good size. The size is yours. Just cut a tiny piece out of the pants. This would work, I guess. It's not the best mermaid tail. Um, when you get your LPS you're using, get the tail from like the direction you're going to put on the body. Put it around the tail. If it does, it does this. It's gonna look silly, but you're going to need to cut. The tiny hole for the tail. So I accidentally cut it a little too big. Well, I don't really care. Then, do that. Crumple it up like this. Get, I know, I know. As you know, it doesn't look the best. But I don't care. So, get an elastic here. And then you're going to tie it around the, the tip of the tail. Like, so, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want it to be, you can try to make it perfect. Just cut it and just, I mean, just, just, just not cut it, um, just wrap it around until it's tight enough. So, I'm not sure this is tight enough, I just have to make the elastics perfect. As I said before, 
for. I'm terribly sorry about the background. But yeah, so do that. Like so. I'm not going to use scissors because it would end up cutting the elastic. So you could use a pen, just don't break the elastic. And so here we go. And you're going to get the, the side with the hole. Put it on her. Is any color. I'm just using blue because these are like the only pants that don't fit me. So twist it if you want. This is optional. And then get another elastic. This part is optional. And wrap it around the body a bunch of times. So like the Mermaid tail, the tail stays on the body and doesn't fall off. So. So. <sighs> this is hard part. Because... If you're not using really stretchy elastics, this part's going to be hard. I'm not using stretchy elastics, so this part's hard. Wrap it around the body like it shows here. And then like that. And so you have it like here. And if you made the hole too big, that's fine. Um, it's not the best tail. I kind of messed up on this one. We don't really care. If you care, just 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 don't hate. Ow. I just broke my nail, I think. Like so. And then if you want to take it to the next step, you can cut it straight. Like so, and then cut it. triangle it kind of makes the fin um, just cut a tiny triangle and it makes the finish and you've got the tail it's not waterproof but it can go in the water it just will get really wet like so I accidentally cut the hole for the tail a little too big but yeah, and that's the tail. Now, let's go try it out in the water. So we have my two mermaids, so one of them is just lying here. And then we have our first, our mermaid we just made. Jump it into the water and it can swim. Like so. And it can, it can come out, but you might want to dry it off before since it can get drenched really easily. And so, that is how you make a mermaid tail, and if there's no sewing, no gluing, all you need is pants that don't fit you anymore, or just any fabric. But it might be easiest to use pants, or something that doesn't fit you anymore, um, and elastics, and of course, an LPS and scissors. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and leave a like and comment, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below if you have any other video ideas. So, bye!